it all comes down to this. Two games left, four points clear to secure promotion to Skybet League One. We've been on an unbelievable run of form. Can we finish the job off today or are we going to take it to the final game of the season? We take on Rochdale, who are in 12th place. We're away from home. It's going to be tough, but the boys have done so well this season. Let's just finish the job off today. Run the intro. So yeah, our form since the last time we met, which was the 4-2 defeat against Carlisle, has been really good. We lost 2-1 um, against Leighton Orient, which was very, very disappointing. Considering they went down to 10 men, we somehow still managed to lose 2-1. All the goals happened after the sending off. Defensively, we were all over the place. We responded with a solid 0-0 draw against Crewe. And uh, to be honest with you, at that point, when we hadn't won in three games, I thought that the wheels had started to come off. But we responded well with a 1-0 win against Yeovil a couple of days later. Two successive draws against Accrington and Plymouth put us in a bit of a difficult spot. But since then, we've been on a fantastic run of form. We've beat Blackpool 3-1, who have recently just got relegated, actually, funny enough. We then beat Shrewsbury 3-2. We were 2-0 down, and Tom Young has got a hat-trick to win us the game. We beat Bristol Rovers 4-0 at home. Notts County 1-0, and then Cheltenham 1-0. So we've been dragging out these results in recent games. As I said, we take on Rochdale today. We are currently, as I've already mentioned, four points clear. Now, Carlisle are taking on Northampton, who are currently in the relegation zone, so you'd have to presume that Carlisle are going to win. AFC Wimbledon, who have they got? They're playing Shrewsbury. Wow, okay, so we need Shrewsbury to do us a massive favour and actually beat AFC Wimbledon. And then we've got teams back as far as Notts County, who could catch us up as well. And they're taking on Cambridge, who are just outside the playoffs. So that is, mass that is massive. As I said, you know, there's some difficult fixtures in there for a lot of teams. But I'm ready and ready to go. Let's get to the point of game day. So this is the Rochdale team are lining up in a 4-1-4-1 formation. Ian Henderson's a name I recognise from that team. Obviously, haven't been a previous Norwich player. Peter Vincenti is another one. Um, there's, there's, you know, there's a few recognisable faces in there. Tom Kennedy, etc, etc. For us, though, this is how we're going to be lining up. After I've done my team talk, I'm not going to give it too much. This is how we're lining up. So we're standing off in our standard 4-4-2. It's Charlie Horton, Ramsey, Whitmore, Jones and Muggleton in defence. Elliot Johnson's form has just come completely off the boil in recent games. So he's dropped to the substitute bench. Bywater, DeMeo, Morgos and Sellers in midfield. Sean Batt and Tom Young's up front. John Akinde has been struggling for form and he's been struggling for fitness. So unfortunately I've just decided to drop him to the substitute bench and put Sean Batt in his place. Ryan Loft is finally coming back into fitness but obviously with two games left of the season it's not going to be enough for him. Let's get into the match then. Super nervous about today's game. We've got the results up on the left-hand side here. We've got Carlisle here. We've got AFC Wimbledon score is down here as well. And we've also got Notts County's game. Where are they? Um, struggling to find... Not oh, there they are. They're playing against Cambridge. So we've got all of the latest scores up. We've got the league table up. All the information that we need is ready and round to go. But as I said, we've got to secure the job ourselves. Jones has the shot and is cleared by Smith. Now, if we don't get the job done in today's game, I will skip forward and go through to the last game of the season, which is at home against Northampton. That's as I said, if we can't get the job secured today, I'm hoping we can get this win just wrapped up into the, in this particular game. <sighs> nervous, really, really nervous. 20 minutes into the game and neither team has really created an opening opportunity. Sellers now to Morgos, pays it back to Jones, a long ball up to Sean Batt, who tries to control it and plays it down to Morgos, who plays it up to Bywater, and Kennedy makes the clearance. So, struggling to sort of string a couple of passes together at the moment. Rochdale seem to be soaking up a lot of what we're doing, but the ball's at the feet of Tom Youngs. He plays it out to Sellers, good ball, ball back into the box, Sean Batt, yes! Sean Batt! 
come on. Here he is, Tom Youngs, puts a decent ball out to Sellers on the wing. Great ball across. And there is Sean Bat to tap home. I've got a major decision to make about Sean Bat now because his contract's running out at the end of the season. Depending on what league we're in, I don't know whether or not to offer him a new contract. I'm thinking of keeping the front four as it is. I think it's just the rest of the team that needs work. But, you know, will Tom Youngs want to actually stay with us? That's another question as well because he's rejected every contract offer we've given him throughout this season. But enough of that. The ball's in the box and Mahoney's got there. It's 1-1. One, one. Lack of concentration from us in the middle there. Jones doesn't react to the cross. Margleton doesn't react to the cross. Here's the replay of it. No one's out there on the left-hand side. Can has got all the time in the world to pick out his man. Jones loses his marker. And Mahoney just taps it in. Great finish and it's back to 1-1. One, one. Half an hour into the game though. Let's just see what the other scores are doing. So not, um, not County are drawing. So, if Cambridge can get a goal there, that means that they drop down to 76. Um, although some of the other results are kind of hindering that. Uh, who else is playing? AFC Wimbledon are losing. Good. Good. That's exactly what I want to see. And in the other result, um, Carlisle are drawing 0-0 against Northampton. So, basically, if we get the goal, we're in the driving seat. But... At the moment, it's not going according to plan. Alfie Jones is having a shocking game of football. We're just not reacting to what they're doing. But it's a great tackle by Sellers. But they've somehow still got the ball. Mahoney cleared by Whitmore. Only as far as Tanza. Plays it back into Henderson. He gets ahead of his marker. But Charlie Horton. Great keeping. Well done. He plays a long ball up to Tom Youngs. Great play. Now he's on the ball. What can we do? Up to Sean Back. He gets a flick on. Sean Bass somehow got the ball back. Demeo to Morgos. So nice, nice to a build up here. What can we do? Margleton. Long ball up to Tom Youngs. And the goalkeeper just collects it. I think that's going to be the end of the highlight. Long ball up to Ramsey though. Ramsey. Morgos plays a long ball up to Tom Youngs. What's he going to do? He shoots from... Oh, he shoots from Ranger scores. Yes. Come on. Oh, 30th goal of the season. 50th goal for Barnett. That's incredible. So here it is. A long ball up to Tom Youngs. He's on the edge of the area. Two men around him and just decides to have a pop into the top of the net. Brilliant finish. Brilliant. Oh, unbelievable. Henderson's on the ball for Rochdale though. He's going to run at our, run our defence. No one's putting in an attack when he plays it out to Kennedy on the left hand side. Fullback's not closing him down properly. Jones makes a mistake. Oh. Jones is coming off at half-time. I cannot keep having him on this pitch. He's causing me no ends of issues and no ends of stress. He's on a 6.0 rating and he's got a yellow card. He's coming off. So, half-time, 2-1. I'm just going to say, guard against complacency. Don't think that the job is done. A couple of them look stressed. One of them being Whitmore. Tom Young seems to lose concentration. We're going to go to a counter-attacking style of play. Pearson's going to come on and Whitmore's just going to swap brown positions. Other than that, we'll keep things exactly as they are. As things stand at the moment, if we win, we are promoted. If we draw, we go down to 79 points. I still think that's going to be enough. A loss, though, and it goes down to the final game of the season. And who knows what's going to happen. But, as I said, as things stand, we are promoted. We've got 20 minutes left to just run out the game. Do what we have to do. Come on, boys. Dig deep. Clearance. Up to Tom Youngs. Back to Morgos. Plays to Sean Bat. Is he just going to hold on to the ball? Yes, he does. He plays it to DeMeo. To Morgos. Plays it out to Sellers. What can we do from here? Plays it through to Tom Youngs. Ball through Sean Bat. Can he seal the win? Yes! Sean Bat with the goal. Yes! 3-1. Surely that's promotion sealed. Surely unbelievable Sean Bat with the finish good football from us a nice counter-attacking goal oh my word not gonna make any more subs we've only got five minutes left come on boys just see this out see this out injury time is up and there it is we've done it yes 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 Yes, yes, come on, 
Get in! Yes! Oh, amazing. Amazing. We've done it. We've actually done it. <laughs> We've actually done it. We've actually done it. I just want to see the confirmation. Show me the confirmation. There it is. Barnet are promoted to Skybet League One. Oh, just uh, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Probably... It's probably it's not it's not what the best achievement I've ever done on FM, but it's right up there because the squad we've got is so young, made so many mistakes during this time, but we've rallied together and we've got points when we needed to. So this is going to be the part where we find out our initial budget. Wow, a transfer budget of one point two k. Thanks, board. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? Oh right, it looks like um, it looks like free transfers. Then it looks like free transfers. The board have said they're extremely pleased that the team has secured promotion from Sky Beckley. Too, in a brief statement, a spokesman for the board declared that promotion had not been on the cards at the start of the season, and he wanted to put on thanks their record, you know, on record their gratitude to manager D Jam FM. Thank you very much, board. You are more than welcome. It's been incredible. It's just been an unbelievable season. A big summer now ahead. What I'm going to do is I'll skip until the final game of the season. Once we've done that, we'll do a squad review and we'll get ourselves mentally ready for the challenge of Sky Bet League 1. If you've enjoyed today's episode, and I hope you have, please give it a like, share, retweet, comment, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, normal sort of stuff. Thank you very much. Oh, we've done it, boys. We've actually done it. <laughs> Until next time, adios.